Stentors are another very fascinating microorganism. They actually have a symbiotic relationship with blue-green algae, and so they appear as blue-green in the culture. It doesn't mean that they're easy to find, however. Although they have a symbiotic relationship with blue-green algae, they are hunters, and they are sessile, which means that they spend most of their life attached to a piece of debris, or in some cases, even the shell of a crab or a lobster or something. So when you're looking for them in your culture, you're going to look near the debris or along the sides and bottom of your culture dish. More than likely, they are not floating freely in the culture. If they are, then they have been stressed and they're trying to find a new place to live. Using a hand lens or stereo microscope, focus along the sides and the bottom or around the debris in the culture. Looking for a blue-green speck. Use a pipette and gently pull them off of the wall of the culture and drop them onto a well slide. There's no need to use a cover slip. Cover slip will inhibit their ability to get oxygen as oxygen will not diffuse into the prepared slide very easily. Now, although they have this, the symbiotic relationship with the blue-green algae, they don't like a lot of light, so we're going to keep the microscope dim or dim it. Look through the preparation, and they will be swimming because now they've been disrupted. Follow your stentor, and they will land on some debris or on the bottom of the well slide where they'll attach and begin to feed. Stentors are one of the most fascinating organisms to watch feed. So often, laboratory manuals will suggest that you starve them for a small period of time and then add a couple drops of a dilute yeast solution or bacterial solution so that they will eat. Be careful, it's easy to starve the stentor to death, in which case your lab will not be successful. So by doing these few tips and looking for your stentor where they're located in the culture dish, you'll save yourselves and your students a lot of frustration.